It's easy. I know, I agree. And I'm like, dude, 30 minutes. If you can't do something for 30 minutes, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. We're I not agree, asking bro. you. <laughs> Zen Dude Nation, what is happening? I'm here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I grew up in Lancaster, it's about a half hour away. But I'm here with my man Barry Weasling, a Zen Dude Dojo member, and might I add, a very busy working man and a father of three and a husband. And dude, what else do you do, man? You're an active guy. I'm an active guy. So growing up, played baseball my whole life, played soccer into high school, ended up playing baseball in college, continued to play baseball. Uh, my kids are in activities, soccer, dance, baseball, different types of sports. So we're always on the move, always active. Nice, man. And you, what was it before uh, we got on camera, you were telling me about like, what was your struggle? Your struggle wasn't so much that you had a ton of weight to lose. You were talking about more being like skinny fat. Always been a skinny guy. Always thought I worked out well. Um, was exercising, realized it wasn't really exercising. Had some excess body fat. Didn't love it, wanted those abs, wanted to get ripped and lean, but thought it wasn't really possible for me because I had tried programs in the past. So I found the jump rope. That's right. Found That's Zen right. Dude Fitness, found the jump rope, started in November, and here I am. Absolutely, brother. So, guys, what we're going to be running you through today is a quick, short workout, typical Zen Dude style, 30 second intervals. We got some body weight stuff. It's Good. lunchtime right now. Here. Ah, it is, yes. We're, my office is a big building in the background here. I'm in work clothes. It's work clothes. This is, dude, he's got an office job, he's in work clothes, and we're gonna do the workout, and Barry's gonna be in his work clothes. So, it's 30 minutes. Dan and Brandon preach, 30 minutes, that's all you need. You don't need anything more than those 30 minutes. And you gotta find those 30 minutes wherever you can find them, even if that means coming out here on top of a parking garage in Harrisburg on your lunch break, to get it done. Dude, it's amen. Amen, brother, I love that, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up below, followed by a subscribe. If you wanna to continue to receive more information on how to jump rope, get lean, and most importantly, have fun. Let's get into this workout, Zendu Nation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Super psyched to be doing this workout with my man, Barry. <clears throat> he crushed it. And also just super inspiring, inspiring to hear Barry's story of how, you know, him and I are the same age, he's got three kids, Kids. He's a busy working guy and Barry makes absolutely no excuses like he's doing this in his work clothing and he gets after it and the thing that when I talked to Barry when I met him the thing that he kept stressing which we totally agree with is that it's easy like this does not have to be a very difficult thing you hit your calories and macros uh, you know you work out for at least 30 minutes a day and that's it you just have to move your body and eat the right amount of food all right guys, next up we got push-ups coming in. Push-ups, try to get 20. Um, that's the marker that I typically go for. Any body weight type of exercise, whether it be squats, push-ups, um, some type, type of lunge, I try to get somewhere in the range of 20 to 25. My beginners, if you get only 15 or you have to do knee push-ups, also totally fine, don't worry about that. The thing that I want you guys to be doing is just going as intense as you possibly can. That's always gonna be the most important thing. So do as many as you can. Make sure you're coming the whole way up and the whole way down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up, jump rope box to skip. Sorry if in the background people are running around. I'm in a Starbucks right now, and you know how, you know how Starbucks can be? Kind of loud. That's okay, though, because we're doing jump rope box to skip. And remember guys, jump rope boxer skip does not have to be um, a whole lot of movement. Notice how my right and left feet, I'm just shifting the weight uh, and I'm letting both feet touch the ground. One leg is taking all the weight while the other leg simply taps on my toe. And if you can't do these, just do regular bounce guys. Like I always say, it's not a big deal if you can do some of the moves. What's more important is that you're trying them um, and challenging yourself so that your workouts do continue to stay fun, stay new. 
excuse me, next up, air squats, guys, air squats. Now, make sure, as you can see here, both Barry and I are coming down the whole way to that 90 degree mark. Um, you wanna keep your back straight, your eyes looking forward, um, and it helps to have your hands out because it kind of helps keep, helps to keep you balanced and helps to keep the weight back on your feet, or sorry, back on your heels where it belongs. You don't wanna have your weight up towards the front where your toes are. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, jump rope, feet front to back, feet front to back. So we're just doing a quick little shift. And as you can see here, both Barry and myself mess up throughout this workout. Don't focus on mess ups, don't beat yourself up. Just get back on, just keep doing the thing. It's all good, ladies and gentlemen. So again, jump rope, feet front to back. You don't need to do huge, big steps, just quick and short, low to the ground, back and forth, back and forth. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got jumping jacks to throw in a little bit of calisthenics for this workout. So as you can see here, we're just coming up, legs are going apart as the hands go together. And make sure that you're just extending. You don't wanna be throwing your arms around and like popping your shoulder out of its socket like super aggressively. But at the same time, go at a pretty fast pace and try to get 25 to 30 jumping jacks. Um, even 40, I don't know, can you do 40? Can you do 50? Do that, go at your max intensity, guys. last exercise. This one's a little bit more challenging because I do see a lot of people messing up with the feet side to side just because you're extending your feet outward which closes the the amount of space that the jump rope has to clear your feet so that can sometimes prove to be a little bit difficult um, but just keep going guys just get right back on it and do the thing and if you guys have questions or comments leave them below. And as we always talk about, the jump rope that we use in this video and all the videos, the one that Barry's got, the one that I have, it's the cross rope. It's the best one that we have seen today on the market. If you want 10% off that, go ahead and check out the links below. We have a link directly to this jump rope that you can purchase. So check it out if you want to become a jump rope ninja, you know what I'm saying? I think everybody has a little jump rope ninja in them, so check it out. Thank you for tuning in to another Zen Dude Fitness Workout, guys. We appreciate you and have a great one. Ha 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 ha